We're here in the Paper Study Center with Leon Boxt's costume design for the ballet, The Firebird. Born Lev Rosenberg in Belarus, the Russian artist Leon Boxt is best known for his stage designs for the Ballet Russe, the pioneering company founded by impresario Serge Diaghilev in 1909. In the 1910s and 20s, the Ballet Russe was instrumental in fostering collaborations. The company was responsible for the 1913 Succès de Scandale, The Rite of Spring, whose dissonant music by Igor Stravinsky and equally modern choreography by Václav Nijinsky shocked Parisian audiences. This costume design by Léon Boxt was for the ballet The Firebird, which premiered in Paris in 1910. Léon Boxt was apparently so enchanted by this magical character drawn from Russian folk tales that he made several designs for her costumes, including this one dating from 1913. The very finished, elaborate look of this drawing suggests that, rather than a real working study for a costume, this was more a finished work in which Boxt immortalized the look of the character that meant so much to him. Boxt is generally associated with symbolism, with its sinuous lines and opulent exoticism, the very stylized pose of the figure and the silver touches of metallic paint. In the yellow and orange arabesques that emanate from the firebird's skirt, these forms are repeated in her headdress, and in the peacock feathers that adorn the costume. At the same time, there's a frieze-like flatness to the picture, as if this figure were compressed in the two dimensions of the picture plane. This effect is heightened by the flat, decorative pattern of the firebird's skirt. And this pattern comes from Russian folk art, which makes sense considering the ballet's source material and Boxt's heritage. But we might also think of this flat, geometric quality as being influenced by avant-garde aesthetics in Paris at the time, particularly Cubism. Boxt had been visiting Paris since the early 20th century and settled there permanently in 1912 when he was exiled from St. Petersburg. Critics of the day noted Boxt's use of color, and they referred to his palette as violent, shrieking orgies of color. This drawing, then, speaks to the close relationship between mere decoration and real radicality that existed at this transitional moment for modernism.